guys hope you're having a great day today today is thursday happy thursday morning to you i hope that your morning is going well mine is going well because it is 9 30 and the house is still quiet i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing it's probably not going to be a good thing but it just shows we had a good nice evening sometimes when you have those longer night maybe they stay up a little bit later and they sleep in you know everybody needs that extra rest and maybe some gave i know it gave me a chance this morning to kind of sit down and write in my prayer journal and just have some time and just uh it was good it's good to do that and to kind of like all right you don't always have to get up at 5 a.m and get stuff done and be boom 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 even today i was like all right i gotta do something today what am i going to do today so i had to sit and get a bunch of paperwork done that part is the boring part of that you would just see me sitting in a computer working so I didn't get that got that done this morning that I wanted to get done and then I was like okay I need to figure out what we're gonna do today for breakfast lunch and dinner but I do know breakfast we still have waffles left over from yesterday so we're gonna be having that lunch we'll probably have the kids pack a lunch and we'll probably go to the park today because it is a beautiful sunshiny day once again and then dinner I've pulled out a freezer meal I'm gonna do chicken stir fry tonight we have it like we've done, I can't say we've ever done stir fry in a long time. We just don't usually eat it, but I do have, I've been making that in my freezer meal thing, so I have like a bunch of bok choy, there's bean sprouts, there's carrots, there's peppers, onions, all that stuff, and pea pot, pea pods, snow, pea, snow peas. What are those things called? Snow peas, yes. So I was going to do that and do a nice little stir fry for dinner. It's just like I said, kids are getting older. They're like branching out, trying different things. All the meals we've had they've gone pretty well with food like some don't like it some do but i'm like that's okay you tried it you did it i said that's the way it goes i know a lot of moms ask how do you get picky eaters to eat well i don't have a magic formula because kids just are changing naturally they eventually will grow up and try other things if you offer that to them event you know what i mean but when they're little sometimes they like only like those what is it the beige colored foods <laughs> and that's it but i know like i know for us it was kind of like if they knew that they didn't have to eat those, that meat or those veggies, but then an hour from now, they're gonna to get to have some crackers or some chips, then of course they're just gonna wait because they know those crackers and chips are going to be there. So we always like, okay, just try it. If you don't, if you really don't like it. Like I know I've had some kids that go through a phase and they really just don't like meat or they really just don't like a vegetable texture then i'll offer something else like i might just have hard boiled eggs made and then okay well then eat a hard boiled egg and hard boiled eggs plain it's not really anything fancy but if they don't want to eat the meat then eat that do something like that the veggies okay they don't love salad well then eat these veggies up you just offer a little bit of an alternative but you don't have to be so like make an entire meal from them different does that help i hope that helps on some but mine are getting older and they're trying things and it's been good i was like some are like, wow, I love burgers, or wow, I love lettuce wraps, and just little things that like they never, they never would have tried, and it's just growing up and getting used to different taste buds. So, chicken stir fry, that'll be a, that'll be one we do today with some Chinese vegetables, and that'll be a good thing to try. But I'm like, it's just an easy day. There's no house cleanup. Just gonna do school. There's a little bit of dishes, not a whole lot over there. It's gonna be an easy day to get up and go so i hope that your morning is going well today and if it's not then i pray that by the end of the video you'll just feel a little sense of peace and comfort and knowing that all right today's just today tomorrow wake up and it'll be a whole nother day right because it's not forever today today will come to an end the sun comes out again tomorrow and we have a chance to okay let's just start again and get something done but get something in your mind today if there's something that you can do anything maybe it'll be just getting up and walking outside for 10 minutes today 10 minutes make that a little goal make that a small goal and go if i just go outside for 10 minutes even if it's cold at your place or rainy take an umbrella get outside and walk walk down your driveway walk around your house walk on your yard walk in front of your house wherever you can and just get out for a few minutes just to give that little bit of either sunshine or just a change of scenery fresh air something like that make that your goal maybe your goal is going to be all right spending that time with that teenager today make yourself time sometimes you can't stand being with that teenager make yourself a time and go okay for a half hour and in your head kind of plan out that half hour i'm going to sit and talk and listen not talk listen to what my teenager has to say i'm going to listen to what they're into what their interests are and just listen to those things maybe it's going to be a younger child that you're so busy doing everything with life you don't get time well i know i want to sit and read some books with my kids today then i'm going to sit and read some books with my kids today and make sure you plan that time of your day because it's easy to get lost it's easy to get not done if you're at an office a job or 
there's maybe there's somebody that um there's somebody that you've been wanting to talk to or spend some time with plan a time today all right let's meet for coffee today let's go meet for a little bit have a cup of coffee and do it just plan something small to go okay it'll make like a huge difference even if nothing else happens or nothing else goes well if you get out and walk for that 10 minutes you're gonna feel great if you spend that half hour with your child reading you're gonna feel great if you spend that half hour talking to your teenager you're gonna feel so much better by doing that one thing just that one thing and then guess what okay that gives a day a little bit of purpose because you accomplished something you wanted to do so for myself you know what i want to do today i want to sew my shirts <laughs> it's been on my to-do list forever don't have a needle and thread i'm like i gotta do it so lauren will be here in a little bit and hopefully she'll bring some needle and thread with her so i can do that today and dinner and go to the park those are my going school school but those are my main ones to get out the door to the park get some exercise and so my shirts, that's really what I want to do today. So not too big of a thing. So you guys get ready for our day. All right, let's get going with our day for a wonderful, beautiful Thursday. All right, kids are doing their stuff over there. So I have to sew a couple shirts. See this? It like, I didn't even wear it yet. It's like brand new. It's got the tag still. So I just need to sew that underneath here and fix that real quick. I got those sewed. It's just a simple slip, like a slip stitch. If you guys learn how to do it, where it basically you take like a loop and you do a loop constantly. Just make sure you tie. Oh, it's real dark in there. Make sure you tie that first one on there, and then just Google like how to do a slip stitch, and that will uh, get it. But I sewed it. This ripped, so I had to sew that. So that's sewed, and the shirt is sewed. So now I give Lauren back her needle and thread. Okay, so I've been doing a bunch of computer work today. So that's what I've been doing. Kids are getting their school done, all their stuff, and I've been sitting at my laptop here working. It's almost noon time and I'm still here, but I'm getting done, filing taxes, all the important things. So that's what I'm working on right now. Not a lot of exciting for you. I'll do some food in a little bit. All right, it is, oh, it's a little windy. I just came outside here. I was gonna film inside, but I have a loud, what is that? Oh, that's, I'm like, what are those things hanging? That's it. It's a little windy out here. I have a loud household in there. So I'm going to make, dinner right now because we're gonna go head out and head to the park so we can get some little walking and so I'm gonna make like a Chinese inspired or Asian inspired dinner and so I'm going to take I took my chicken that I put all cut up my dog's barking into a Ziploc bag for my freezer meals and then it's already got the spices and everything in it I'm gonna saute that on my, on my um on my stove there and then I'm gonna chop up a bunch of veggies so you're gonna see what I have I have a new cutting board from Look at this is cooking from Holtzy. This is pretty cool. They sent this to me and I thought, this is a really cool cutting board. You guys, so you guys know how my cutting board, I use my paper towel. You guys say you put a paper towel so it doesn't slide. Well, I just don't do that. I'm like, one more extra step. Well, this cutting board is great. It's nice and sturdy. It does not move. You're gonna see it. It is a very good quality cutting board. And the greatest thing ever, you can stick your phone on it and watch while you are cutting out vegetables. I thought that was the coolest thing ever and I'm like, oh, and I had, I love the little tray that you can put your veggies in. So for me, this is a product that I think is a great gift and a great thing that you can use in your own home. So thank you Holtzy for supplying me with your product to share with my viewers. So I'm gonna chop up all my veggies on there. I'm gonna saute them on the stove and then I'm gonna make some rice and some pot stickers. So it might be kind of a quiet, no talking, just music thing, but it's because all my kids are inside doing school right now and they're all awful loud, awful loud. They're all loud because they're kids and I'm outside here and the dogs are barking, but you do what you gotta do. So come and join me cutting some Chinese vegetables up, getting them ready for dinner. We're gonna have a nice delicious dinner. I've got the carrots and bok choy, some snow peas and some cabbage and then um, the pot stickers. And then I have all that shredded um, slaw. So I'm gonna make an Asian, I think it's a ramen Asian salad they call it. And I love it, I haven't had it in a long time. So I'm gonna make that today. It's gonna be delicious, a little meal. So let's go in and make food.
All right, so I've got the stir fry done. I put that in the oven. I just covered it with tin foil to keep it warm. The rice is almost done. I've got the pot stickers going. And then I'm gonna start my ramen cabbage salad. This, it's a little bit different. You can take the nuts, I'm gonna do slivered almonds, and you can actually candy them, but I'm not gonna do that stuff. You can do it in the microwave or on your stove. I'll put that recipe on the screen that you can candy, but I'm just gonna put them in here regular. So it's just shredded cabbage, which I have this coleslaw mix. I'm gonna put cranberries in mine. I'm gonna make the little bit of the dressing here and pour it on top. It is so, so good. Put the ramen on when you go to serve it. Not before, just because it gets all mushy. So I'll get things. Did you guys see the cutting board? Wasn't that an awesome cutting board? Let me show the camera. So this is the cutting board. So this is awesome on you. Look at this. And then these come out and you've got three of them and you can keep your phone right here, which is really, really good. So they give you a little instruction paper on how to take care of this. So if it gets stained, like how there's green on there with lemon juice or baking soda. So very cool. So you guys want to give them. These are really good. Like I love this. This is going to be sitting on my counter. I'm going to be using it all the time because I absolutely love this. All right. So making this, so I'm going to do my salad next, but I had a surprise guest walk into the room and I had to ask and give permission. And the, surprise, <laughs> the surprise guest said she would make an appearance. Can you guess? This person is shorter than <laughs> Brooklyn, everybody, but Audubon in our family. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys love her and you know her. You know her best is Lauren. Here she is. Lauren's Yay! back. <laughs> There's Lauren. I'm here, I'm alive, I'm she's not here, I'm alive. not just gone. Everybody's asking, everyone's like, she gets married and boom, she's gone. And I said, well, it's that she's it's married and she's learning life from marriage. I don't live in this house no, anymore. No, that's the, that's the that's problem. Why. She's not here anymore to try my foods. And then when I'm here, you're not here. Right, like. she comes and helps me and then I leave. So, but today she's actually here with the kids doing that. So she's here. So Lauren, how is married life? Everybody wants to know. It's so good. Is it so good? It is actually it's really good. <laughs> me and Matthew have been talking about our house and I'm like, I just love our house. I love that we're married. Like, you know, as a kid, pretty much my entire life from like Steven's age all the way till now, I like desire of my heart was to be married yeah. and to have children one day, but that's one day. One day but to be married and to be in a house and that's just been so awesome to have and that's just reality now. Have your own space, <laughs> do your own thing. <laughs> Do you guys don't understand how great it is to have my whole kitchen full of all of my stuff? Do you guys remember Lauren's little space? Her tiny little bed and she had to shove everything into that tiny area. It all fits in our house now really well. She got all, and it looks, looks real nice. Good over there, so we've enjoyed it. So what is something you and Matthew have learned to do together that you guys love to do? What's a new act? What's something you guys well, love? Well, something that's fun is cooking. Cooking, right? Yeah. Both of you guys. We both like you both like to cook. So he, we both, well, he likes to cook. He likes to grill. Yeah, so we grill a lot. We have a grill inside of our little patio there. So we'll have like chicken for dinner and he'll go to grill the chicken. Yeah. And then I'll make little sides. Yesterday he made all the dinner, which I was like, ah. But usually we've been learning how to do half and half. Yeah, so he'll show like I'm a thought, why don't you go get the meat thought? I'm like, that's so crazy. Like he does. Yeah, he has to go to make all the food. And, and she's like, learning like southern stuff. Like yesterday she left or Tuesday she left here and she's like, I gotta go home and make my collar free. Collard like, greens. Oh, my little hammock. So, hammock. <laughs> so she's learning all the southern food. I'm learning and we are learning it together. We're putting it together the northern and the southern and we're putting it together to make our favorites. I love it. So, so much it's fun. Been good. So she's still here, she's alive. It's just that she's not here anymore. So She's That's not why. here no more. Sorry. She's not here. So sorry. So yes, sorry. We miss you guys. She has her own life. <laughs> she has yeah. her own world. I have my own little life, guys. <laughs> Gosh. No, she's just kidding. She's busy. She's working. He's working. And the time they have extra is they are together. It's our together. It's so, our together time. That's why. So yeah. here she is. Thank you, Lauren. Yeah. They've been asking. It's good. They've been begging, actually. And I was like, hey, sorry. She's <laughs> just like living life. I can't just run up in her house. She's just and not here to work. Say hello. Sorry, bye. So, there's Lauren. Well, there I am. Okay. She's doing good. Bye. Okay, bye, Lauren. See you later. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna mix up my salad and make that so we can eat that for dinner. All right, so here's the salad. This is delicious. I added everything to this directly because we will eat this up tonight, but this is, I love it. And like I said, you can candy up the almonds and give a little bit more sweeter flavor, but having it this way is good too. So dinner is done. We got the last pot sucker in. I'll finish in the kitchen. Thank you, Holtzy, for supplying me with your cutting board. If you want to get one of these, look in the description box below. All right, so I thought I'd come outside. I know this is a weird spot to sit, but I can sit outside and talk to you and not have it be too off with the color. So I'm gonna go. This video is gonna be a short video today. That's okay. We're gonna have a, it's just a shorter Thursday. I did a lot of paperwork on my taxes done. Yay, yay. 
government gets its money. <laughs> and so did that, just did some paperwork and stuff I do for church and just little things that I had to get done, that needed to get done. And today was a good day to do that. I got to sew my shirt, so I'm excited for that. And then got to make a delicious dinner using that cutting board. Love the cutting board. You guys need a cutting board. If you want a cutting board, go get yourself a cutting board. So I'm gonna go, we're gonna go ahead to the park and get a couple laps in. The kids are gonna play. And then tonight's church, tonight's Thursday. So we do church tonight and then uh, call it a night tonight. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be here again. We have a fun day tomorrow. We're going to go to a laser light show tomorrow. So I'm going to bring you along to that. We're going to have a fun time, go with Lauren and Matthew, and just have a good day. So I thank you guys for watching, and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye. For those of you that want to stay, I'm going to read our psalm for the day. Psalm 54, prayer for defense against enemies. Save me, O God, by your name, and vindicate me by your wondrous power. Hear my prayer, O God. Listen to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen against me, and violent men have sought my life. They have not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper and ally. The Lord is the sustainer of my soul, my upholder. He will pay back the evil to my enemies. In your faithfulness, destroy them. With a free will offering, I will sacrifice to you. I will give thanks and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has rescued me from every trouble. And my eye has looked with satisfaction, triumph on my enemies. It's a good prayer for defense against the enemies. Know who your enemy is. It's not people. It's the enemy. You know who the enemy is, Satan. He uses people to come take things from your life. Don't let it happen. All right, have a blessed day.